What is good, everybody? It is E-Red. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another episode of the Battle of New York series, where every week we're using each of the new New York team quarterbacks, well, new with the Jets, old with the, with the Giants, but at least upgraded, and see who can have the better season and lead their team the farthest. We are in week six with the Giants, going up against the Baltimore Ravens. And yeah, man, uh, we it's Lamar versus Daniel Jones, so it should make for an interesting one. So without further ado, I'm going to finish up chatting. We're going to jump right into this gameplay, and hopefully we get it up. All right, starting this out on offense and low-key, most importantly, not losing this game. I, I forgot to mention that last week, ooh, that's a good throw, good catch. Last week, we did win. We beat the Packers. We had a really good game, only allowing three points and putting up 29 points as a team. So that's something that we definitely want to build off this week. Going up against the Ravens, definitely tough because we know how explosive this team is, both offensive and defensively. Ooh, whoops, that was a mistake. I was supposed to play her lock, but I will take the big gain. All right, across midfield, moving well so far. Last week, one of our biggest issues was, ooh, was that we got into the opponent's like side of the field, but we didn't convert that into touchdowns, so definitely absolutely want to do that today try to get more touchdowns on the board again daniel jones is having himself a really good season running the ball as a quarterback in terms of exclusively passing he's like been middle of the pack so trying to build on that um ooh, 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 stick work oh he's gone he's gone Ooh! did you see the way we followed them blocks let's go give me the touchdown perfect all right, well, the Ravens found a way to tie the game up. I'm not going to lie, I was really proud of that. I let Darren Waller just get a smidge in front, and then we cut. It was it was beautiful. Ooh, got him. Darren Waller! Let's go. The best target on our team. Doing this season definitely has got me really excited for when football comes back. Just not for nothing. The combination of the way I feel like Waller can add to this team, just very exciting. Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad we got the completion, but we definitely lost yards as a result. Also, Saquon, Daniel Jones coming off a big season last year, or at least playing really well. Ooh. Good slide in the pocket. Cross midfield. We are executing very well so far. Getting a good start. Another read option. Saquon. Saquon, good run. Our offensive coordinator wants to keep running the ball, so why not? We're going stretch right. Oh, this could be a touchdown. <gasps> oh, good game, though. And now this is probably as long as we complete this pass. This is going to be the last play of the quarter. Let's go. Good job, Sterling. Let's go take this to the second. Okay, I was, but I really like this play, so I'm actually going to run it instead. Last play now. Ooh. Got him. Touchdown. Give me that right with a quarter edge. Way to tap them toes. There, Waller, Daniel Jones. The combo is elite. And we got the lead, man. That was a great free form because I'll be honest, I thought we missed them. But I guess we, like, I feel like taller receivers get really good animations when I feel like I overthrow the pass. And especially with no abilities and the ball hangs in the air a little bit longer. That's just definitely something to notice. I'm glad we got that touchdown and we still got the lead right now. Now with the second and six, we got a counter play called going right. And at least it's third and manageable. Now third and five. Definitely want this conversion here. Ooh. Let's go away to fall forward. Man, Darren Waller already got 41 yards receiving. We haven't missed the throw. Now Saquon. Ooh. Eh, was that two, three? Now second and seven. Let's go. Slide. I love this. When we can play like this, either look at our first two options, then it starts to scrambling with Daniel Jones. I feel like, and ironically, that's how he like played this season. So if that can like be re-emulated and like it's, it's being emulated well at Madden. So I hope like for this upcoming season that actually translates. Room for my teams, man. Because we get an inside zone and third and six. Now, this feels like, man, so I feel like the post, the corner, or the, the Texas route by Saquon can get open. Good throw. Good step up. Easy throw. Eight for eight and up over 100. Now, with the way we are moving, definitely want to be conscious of the clock with us getting the ball in the second half. 
So stretch play going right. That's not great. Now this is definitely going to be the last play before the two minute warning. Read option. Let's go. Let's go. Sliding because I don't want to fumble in the red zone. Let's take this to the two minute warning. Man, I don't know what it is, but something about the way this offense is moving against the Ravens has me excited for the way we're progressing as a team. Ooh, Saquon, why would you? There was so much space on the left side. But yeah, I'm just excited. We, I, just, I feel like we're, we're doing well controlling the time of possession. Just they're, they're all the things that are going well. That is a great throw. Now on first and goal, let's try to get this touchdown. Got him. Oh, Waller, no. Dang, that one kind of stung. I thought we were going to get Darren Waller his second touchdown. But I guess not. Saquon. Ooh. All right. Well, at least we controlled the time of possession, not really giving the Ravens enough time. Hopefully we get a touchdown here, though. Psst. Daniel Jones, that's how you do it. Easy. And now picking this up in the second half, dominating with an 11-point lead. RPO time. Good job. Gaining us solid yards. Now, I really would love to throw this up to Waller if I can. Second and seven. Let's see what we got. Break a tackle, Saquon. Ooh, no. Definitely unfortunate. Hopefully, this is not the first conversion we don't get today. Um, ooh. I, money, good throw. And that was like a nice little step up to find that pocket. I mentioned in the last game, like, we were the most sacked quarterback, like, by far. So the fact that we are... I mean, one missed throw and nothing bad. I will take it. Ooh. Of oh, no. Of course, as soon as I say that. Well, this possession definitely became harder. But it is what it is. Ooh. I might have been able to throw it up to Waller, but I was a little... I got kind of kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. But on third and 11, let's see if we can get this conversion. Ooh. Man, that's, that's the first, like, bad miss. We're going to punt the ball away. And as expected, the Ravens responded very well and got a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So this possession is big for us. Ooh, let's go. Good job, Darren Waller. It's interesting because we've completed 15 passes, but in those 15 passes, not for nothing, they're not, like, we only have, like, 150 yards passing. So we're kind of... Definitely dinking and dunking our way down the field. Ooh, got him. But Darren Waller got a big play. Yes, and got us on the other side of the field in field goal range. Perfect. That is about trusting your guy, man. Let's see if we can get a touchdown here. Got him. Woo, Darren Waller, a oh, beast. And we up over 200. Oh, man. Just, let's go. Seven for 121. Let's get him a touchdown if we can. Ooh. 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 Or Daniel Jones. Three rusty touchdowns on a day. Let's go. Let, yo, got a turnover. We can really break the game open here. Let's go. Ooh. I like that, Crowder. All right. Second and one. Going to the run game. Going to the run game. Nice. I do really like this play, mostly because Waller does tend to get open on it. But if I can hit up Hodgins, I will. Ooh. Got him. Let's go! Got him up. Five TDs on the day for Daniel Jones. Three on the ground, two in the air. Eating, man. Perfect. Hey, the Ravens aren't going away, but I will say this. Up 10, 7 minutes in 30 seconds left in the quarter. Controlling time of possession here. The best thing we can do. And I like stuff like this because it does make it easy to throw the ball. Or easier, I should say. Ooh. Ooh. Covering up the ball. Good job. Definitely do not want to not convert here. So, ooh. And, of course... Who else? Who else would you trust? Perfect. Controlling the time of possession is great right now. I mean, at best, as long as we keep the ball in play, 
our opponent is not getting the ball at least for like what three minutes and 30 seconds if i did that math right trying to snap the ball with the least amount of time on the play clock as possible third and five now i'd be lying you already know who i want to get the ball to that's a pick i i knew it as soon as i threw it oh it was going so well i mean we can treat that like a punt but I'm upset at myself. And now we have ourselves a three-point game with minimal time on the clock. We need a first down. Saquon, good runs only. Come on, man. First down. Win us this game. Win us this game. Hey, our coach trusts us. Third and three, play action. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's over. It's over. Let's go, GG's. Managed to get out of here with a dub. We're going to take the quarterback knee three times, and I will see you guys at the stats. Let's go. We beat the Ravens. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this one. 121 quarterback rating, 21 for 24, 87% completion percentage, 253 passing, two touchdowns, one interception. I'm not going to lie. I'm, like, really pissed off that I threw that pick. Um, 10.5 a pop. Rushing. I mean... 10 for 89. Saquon finally was over three yards of carry, which is nice. 16 for 58. One broken tackle. No touchdowns. Daniel Jones had three. Receiving Darren Waller, 131. Eight catches. Eight touchdowns. Hodges, three for 45. Saquon, four for 17. Crowder, two for 27. Wondell Robinson, two for 20. And what you call our fullback got the big conversion that won us the game. And most importantly, four and two. So now I believe at this time both New York teams are four and two. So nice back and forth for what Rodgers is doing passing the ball. Daniel Jones is definitely doing as a dual threat. So it's like it's like a very cool kind of like juxtaposition going on. But but for both teams to be four and two, series is getting exciting. Definitely stay tuned. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, do all those good things. Like, comment, share, subscribe, as it is greatly appreciated as we are trying to continue to grow the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Deuces.